Welcome to video number 11 in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. Tourists are the paying customers of the tourism industry. They spend their time, money, and energy and decide whether a destination is popular and successful or not. In the tourism industry, customers go by many names. Generically, they are tourists or travelers, but destinations call them visitors, hotels and restaurants call them guests, travel agencies call them clients, tour companies call them tour members, and transportation companies call them passengers. No wonder they often look so confused. Although tourists are the ultimate focus of tourism marketing and management, please don't forget the golden rule of tourism, the topic of video number three. The definition of a tourist needs to be precise because the number of tourists and their various impacts need to be determined for destinations over long periods of time and multiple destinations must be aggregated to create the total for a larger area. Otherwise, as the old saying goes, it would be like counting apples and oranges and the total would lack any real value. Tourism investors, developers, and resource managers are among the many tourism professionals, government officials, and community leaders who need accurate statistics in order to plan and manage tourism properly. The United Nations World Tourism Organization recognizes that visitors and tourists are akin to apples and oranges. As it states, a visitor is a traveler taking a trip to a main destination outside his or her usual environment for less than a year for any main purpose, business, leisure, or other personal purpose other than be employed by a resident entity in the country or place visited. A visitor, domestic inbound or outbound, is classified as a tourist or overnight visitor if his or her trip includes an overnight stay or as a same-day visitor or excursionist otherwise. As just mentioned, UNWTO states that a visitor, domestic inbound or outbound, is classified as a same-day visitor or excursionist if his or her trip does not include an overnight stay. So, for UNWTO, the distinguishing factor is an overnight stay. Some individual destinations add other qualifying factors in their definition of tourist, such as a need to travel a certain distance from home. Now for the three types of tourists, as determined by the basic purpose of their visit. The categories are pleasure travelers, business travelers, and visiting friends and relatives. All three play a major role in tourism flows. Actually, there is one other category, those who travel for official purposes or are commuting, such as migrants and students en route to college, but this one is of little interest to the tourism industry. Pleasure travelers, also known as leisure travelers, travel to have fun, learn, explore, or just satisfy their curiosity about other places. This is discretionary travel performed for the freedom, the adventure, and the personal growth and enrichment that is inevitably derived from it. Pleasure travelers used to be just traditional tourists who went sightseeing every day all day long. While that is still a popular activity, many pleasure travelers now plan their trips around their own specific hobbies and interests. They are part of special interest tourism, SIT. Most of today's pleasure travelers also have a sincere desire to meet and interact with the local people. Business travelers, including conventioneers, may not seem like tourists, but they are a vital and lucrative segment of the tourism industry. They use most of the same services from the four operational sectors of tourism as pleasure travelers, and they often pay a premium for items such as first-class flights, fancier rental cars, and table service meals. They also spend money on business services and entertaining clients. During their free time, many business travelers turn into pleasure travelers as they get to know and enjoy a destination. In addition to their expense account, they often spend their own money on additional tourist activities and sometimes they bring family members with them or return later on vacation. Visiting friends and relatives, or VFR for short, is another major category of tourists as everybody wants to visit grandma and grandpa for the holidays and get together with former classmates to relive old times and create new memories. Often VFR includes mooching a free place to stay and some free meals eaten at home, but studies show many VFR tourists spend all or part of their time in paid accommodations and eat many meals in local F&B establishments. 
Many also go sightseeing and enjoy outdoor activities and entertainment with their host, and they are good repeat and referral customers for the destinations. Some pleasure travelers take pre-arranged all-inclusive tours while others travel on their own, such as backpackers with the Uriel Pass or a couple of friends motorcycling through South America. Business travelers may be on an individual itinerary or part of a convention package. They may make their own arrangements or have a corporate travel agent perform the task. There are many types of tourists who are traveling for many purposes and using many styles on many budgets. Destinations must be ready to provide the information, reservations, and services they need to make each visit a successful one. Headcount is not the best way to evaluate the success of a destination's tourism industry. The overall impacts of the various types of tourist behaviors, activities, and expenditures must be taken into consideration. For example, tour groups fill the hotels and attractions with discounted prices. Business travelers spend a lot of money on franchise products that leaks out of the destination. And backpackers on a limited budget often stay longer and spend more on local products. In addition to their economic impacts, some tourists also have negative environmental impacts and undesirable social impacts. Therefore, destinations must examine their goals and all three impacts in order to determine which tourists contribute the most to their success. So what's the difference between a traveler and a tourist? I'd say a traveler is a generic person in motion going somewhere, while a tourist is a traveler with a more specific purpose and time frame. Perhaps both terms are somewhat vague, overlapping, and interchangeable, but while all tourists are travelers, not all travelers are tourists. My own saying is, travel makes the world smaller, but tourism makes it larger, meaning you can go about anywhere in the world now in a couple of days, but you cannot possibly experience everything there is to see and do. Now I invite you to watch video number 12, Six Categories of Tourism Flows. Thank you.